Nationals in September offered Bryce Harper $300 million for 10 years. So it was reported today, well, that, that's the highest offer of any free agent ever, and he turned it down. Like, people were outraged that he turned it down. First of all, he wasn't a free agent. He was the property of the Nationals, so it wasn't like he had 29 other teams bidding for him. He wasn't a free agent. That was less than the average annual value of the contract given to Miguel Cabrera and to Giancarlo Stanton. You're two weeks away from becoming a free agent where all 30 teams could bid for you. Why would you ever accept that offer? You know, you can say, well, if you can't live on $300 million, that's not how these guys think. He has enough money to live now for the rest of his life if he never plays again. He made $20 million a year the last two years. So don't look at him as greedy. He played the game. Do you know that he actually went to college at 16? And put himself in a position to be drafted. This was a plan with Scott Boris all along to test the free agent market when he was 26 years old. And he's going to sign a contract with the Nationals for $300 million for 10 years? It doesn't make sense. No. You now, is, test it. is it a gamble? Yeah, it's a gamble if all of a sudden people go, well, oh, he hit 249. Yeah, he did hit 249, but he had a tremendous on base percentage. And the guy is a really, really good player. And there are teams out there, I think, that will move heaven and earth to get him. I believe he's going to get more than $30 million per year for average annual value. And I don't believe it will be from the Yankees, despite the fact Boris has opened up that door by saying, well, he'll play first base. Buster Only, mm -hmm. who, who will join us at 430, said unequivocally about a half hour ago on Twitter, he is not signing with the Yankees under no circumstances. The Yankees don't want him. So that, that, that game is not going to be played, according to Buster. But... To rip this guy and to call him greedy, this is all a chess match. Now, the Nationals are playing their version of the chess match because you know what they're saying now? We've got to know if he's going to sign. We can't because Scott Boris historically drags it all the way out to January. And the Nationals then have to keep 30 to $35 million a year away from what they could spend if they wait on Bryce Harper. They've got enough in their outfield with all their young players that they can win without Bryce Harper, and I think the $300 million offer was eyewash, as David Cohn would call it, yeah. to the Nationals fans. Well, look, we offered him three, and he turned it down. I don't think the Nationals want him back at that kind of number. No, I agree with you. They knew he was going to say no. Absolutely, and he should say no. Yeah. Has nothing to do with greed. Has to do with smart. you got to test free agency. Especially when you get that close. I mean, the gamble is, is you're a year away and they make you that offer, and then you could break your leg and never be the same player. But two weeks away, of course you turn it down.